How's it going my friends? My name is Forge welcome to a brand new discussion video. So today we've been given a brand new beta of 1.16.100.54 and I'm going to be talking about the new feature which is the Render Dragon Engine. Now if you never heard of the Render Dragon Engine then you probably have no idea what it's all about. Well basically it's going to be a brand new rendering engine that's coming to Minecraft and up until now it's only been available for the Xbox One in PS4. I'm not sure if it's been available on Switch or not. Probably as, maybe, I don't really know. But for this brand new Render Dragon engine, this is a very big deal. And also, if you're on Windows 10, I'm sorry, but many of you are going to be very, very upset with this news. But every single shader pack no longer works. Yeah, you heard me right. This is what made a lot of people upset about with the Xbox One. When the Xbox One got the Render Dragon engine, up until then, you are able to use shader packs by importing them into your world. And now you actually did not have the ability at all. And well, for Windows 10, that's the same fate as now just arrived. And everybody's going to be very, very upset about this. In my own opinion, I'm very upset about this. But that doesn't mean that the community for shader packs is over with. Because people are still going to be able to make shaders with the new capabilities of the Render Dragon. If you think about RTX, the RTX, I believe, uses the Render Dragon engine to make ray tracing possible. So you're going to be able to make brand new shader packs, which I think is actually going to be really, really good. Because with the capabilities of Render Dragon, things are going to be so much better. Things are going to look so much better in shader packs. And that's the one thing that I'm really, really excited about. I don't really mind the shaders being broken. It's sad, I know. But with the new Render Dragon engine, Things are going to be so much better for new shader packs and I'm super duper excited about that. I definitely believe that people are going to make some really really incredible things. So now that we got ourselves a brand new rendering engine, it's going to be able to rendering things a lot faster and a lot more efficiently, which is really really great. Now whenever it comes to render distance, normally a lot of players can have a little bit of difficulties when they crank it all the way up. For me, I definitely have experienced a few problems. I've experienced some crashes. I've experienced low FPS. So I'm just going to go in and go over to settings. I'm going to go all the way down the video. And I'm going to scroll down to render distance. We are locked to a certain amount. And that's still true to this very day. But now that lock has been increased. So if I go all the way up here. Normally I'm set between 64 and 80. Which is 72. If I go all the way up now my maximum is 128. You can now see a lot more around you but as you can see right now I am running at some smooth 60 FPS. The more that we fly around our FPS might actually start to drip down. For me the most I've dripped down to was like 28 FPS so that's actually not very good to play Minecraft in. For us we like to play Minecraft at a solid 60 FPS so sometimes you might still get that FPS drop but it seems like it's actually running quite smoothly for me, which is actually quite nice. But also look at the clouds. The clouds are transparent now. So it's actually really great because originally clouds, they were not transparent. But now you can actually see right to the clouds and actually see your builds, which is really great. So it took quite a while for my FPS to start dripping down all the way below 40 FPS. But now we're not back at 60 FPS and there it goes again. It just dripped all the way below 30 FPS. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Sometimes you might still experience those FPS drops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down the video settings and I'm going to go ahead and turn that all the way back down. Now other than that one, that's basically it for what I wanted to talk about in today's video. And I do want to hear your thoughts below in the comments of what you think of the Render Dragon Engine. Are you upset that the old shaders are broken? And are you excited for the future of shader packs? And if you enjoyed today's video, the now if you guys enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload for now. I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!